Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're going to convert this hot tub to run on an air source heat pump. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here's the plan. The pipes, we're going to have them come out the side of the cabinet. They're then going to run down this wall here. And we're going to locate the air source heat pump next to the existing heat pump here that's for the home and we're going to wall mount it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay so the first thing we need to do is actually change the breaker that we've got in the hot tub. So at the moment there's a 32 amp breaker. If we're going to add the air source, the air source actually needs a bit more current. So we're going to change this up to a 40 amp breaker and of course we're going to have an electrician come and check it all before we switch it back on. Okay, so with the breaker change, the next step is to mount the air source heat pump on the wall. And we're going to place it, as I said, next to the existing unit. Now, those eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that it's actually quite tight. And the recommended amount of space is around 30 centimetres all the way around the unit. However, this is a particularly windy area. There's a huge amount of airflow. It's a bit of a wind tunnel. And as the previous uh, heating engineer didn't have an issue with it, I don't either. So we're going to install it in place next to this existing unit. Okay, so with the heat pump successfully installed, now it's time to look at the plumbing on the actual hot tub and what we're going to change. So what we're actually going to do on this tub is we're going to take the, the heater that you can see down the bottom there we're going to move that up closer to the pump and we're also going to slightly modify things inside the control box but basically going to put a switch on the heater so it will enable us to be able to turn the electric portion on or off rather than having both running at the same time what we're going to do is where you can see that ball valve over on the right hand side we're going to come out of there we're going to come out the other side of the heater and our pipes are going to run down the wall there over to the heat pump that we've just installed so let's get cracking and here's a quick look at the heat pump fully installed. So you can see we've got a rotary breaker at the top so it can be fully isolated. It's mounted to the wall and we're ready to start work on the pipework. Okay, so now it's time for us to turn our attentions to the plumbing. And you can see we have the long run of pipework right down the wall and you can see the electrical cables not yet connected we'll have the electrician do that later on so what we need to do now is plan the bypass system and that's what you're looking at now so you can see that we're able to not only control the flow of water into the air source heat pump but we can also fully isolate it as well should we need to drain it for winter we can do that using these manifolds Here you can see that we have the full bypass in. It's all plumbed in ready. And the next step is to connect over to the main pipework that's gonna take us back towards the hot tub. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here you can see that we've connected the pipes, but what we've also done is we've also wrapped the pipes in a foil insulation. And that's just to make sure that we're not losing any of that heat as the water runs down those lengths of pipe. So the next step for us now is to actually connect up into the hot tub. Okay, so what you can see here, we've got that closed gate valve, but next to it, we've already moved the electric heater over and we've added some connections to enable us to connect up to the air source heat pumps plumbing, which you can see comes out of the side of the hot tub, it runs all the way down the wall and back to the air source heat pump. So, what are the next stages? Well, now we've got some electrical work that we need to have the electrician in to do, and then we'll be ready to test and see how we're getting on with the final setup. 
So let's go ahead and tidy these things up and have the last electrical work done before we can do some testing. And here we have it. We have air source heat pump installed. We've moved that heater over as you can see. We've got some new connections down here. We've also installed the Wi-Fi module for Gecko and you can see that switch there that actually turns on and off the electric heater. So Paul could decide whether he runs with his air source heat pump with the additional two kilowatt heater or whether he just runs air source alone, which is pretty cool. Pipes come out the side. We've got the run down here that are nicely insulated. And over here we have the air source heat pump and those eagle-eyed amongst you can see it's only on 15 degrees at the moment because that's all we've literally just switched it on. But all is working very nicely. When the circulation pump stops, the air source heat pump stops and then once the heat kicks back in, it's good to go again. So there we have it. How to add an air source heat pump to your hot tub. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.